So let's talk about it. Racism. <laughs> racism, racism, racism. So a racial incident involving Hong Min Son and a palace supporter. Um, and I think I wanted just to sort of bring this up because I think it just speaks to like a larger kind of a discussion that's like, a, you know, like personal to me, like personal experience. So let's just first deal with the whole something. So obviously, whoever that palace fan is, you're pretty stupid because here's the thing. You'll never solve racism. And I think Martin Luther King, he realized that afterwards, that's why Martin Luther King, if you were to ask him now, he's like, don't give me that. I have a dream crap. Like, no, like, no, I was, I don't know. That's no, 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 no. Talk to, no, I was about that life after I said that freaking speech. So that whole I have a dream thing, that's just nonsense. We're never going to be kumbaya together and so forth because people give human beings too much credit. Human beings by nature are racist. Human beings by nature are, um, are prejudiced. Human beings by nature, we live upon stereotypes. It is what it is. You know, we want to be with people that we know at large. Now, there are a few who are people of the world. Like for me, I was lucky that I went to an international school. And because I went to an international school, I've always had a, a global worldview. That's why I can't be xenophobic or tribal based on my experience with people of several different cultures. So, but not everybody has an experience. You know, all people know is their neighborhood, is their village, is their town, is their city. So they will be tribal like that. So you're never going to solve it. So I think that, but what, but what this is, is that, you know, like that individual who did the, the whole I thing, you know, um, to Son, which is obviously like a racial gesture, he's not going to change. <laughs> he's still going to be the same. He still cracked the same racist jokes. But which is why I said that football isn't here to solve racism. It's about we cannot have racism within this construct known as the football pitch, known as the football stadium. Outside the, the stadium, good luck to you. Do whatever you want, have at it. But we, football as an institution, and it has failed several times. Check out your boy Syria, Bozo FC, and so forth. Football has failed several times to protect the non-white player, you know, and so forth. Because, again, is is it no reason why you don't have any openly homosexual player right now? Because, another you know, my question, if this is what's happening to the Asians, the Blacks, and so forth, bro, I, if, if homosexual, I'm going to get destroyed. <laughs> because we all know what football fans say. So, for that fan, he's most likely going to be received like a ban. Most likely even a lifetime ban, specifically in the world that we live in. And he should. Listen, he should because of the tooth to flex. Firstly, the racism incidents, and secondly, for being stupid. You moron. This is the freaking 80s. Do you know how many cameras there are right now in 2023? Someone's going to catch you. And it's, it's, this guy is so stupid. Of Obviously, whenever they are, he's going to go to the fan section and so forth, they are going to put it, because I think Tottenham were playing at home, so it was in the away section, I believe. So that means that they are obviously going to put a lot more focus on those away fans that are over there, you know? So they're going to put more focus on the away fans, you know, throwing the jabs and so forth. So of course someone's going to catch you, freak. So for his, yeah, his racism, I get it. But for his stupidity, 100% giving a lifetime ban just for being so freaking stupid. If you're going to be racist, at least be racist in private. <laughs> be racist in private. Don't be racist when there are 3,000 cameras out there, you freaking moron. But it is what it is. 900% of racist people are freaking stupid. But now this comes to a larger point which is to age with, with Asians, you know, because I know that I've got, you know, a lot of um, Asian watchers here and so forth and everything, you know, and it just reminds me when I was in school. So school that I went to, obviously it was predominantly white, but the next large demographic after the whites were the Asians. And then after the Asians, then the blacks. So like, I think, so I was, I think as a point, I was the only black guy in my year. In the whole school, 10, 11 out of like 400, 500, 600 guys. But there was a large, pretty large demographic of, of Asians. So, of course, it was racism because black people, and I can go through all the racial insults that guys went to me with, like, you know, uh, hey, hey, yeah, man, yeah, man, from Jamaica, man. I don't know where Jamaica is on the map, and then touching my hair and being shocked, shocked because they thought that my hair was electrocuting and so forth, and like testing their skin tone and everything. All the beautiful racial insults. But the racism, the constant racism towards Asians was crazy. 
I'm talking in like constant, constant racism towards Asians. I mean, from if let's say, okay, we're not going to have a Chinese or they are not going to have a C-H-I-N-K-Y-S, you know, um, the eye jokes, mocking how they talk, how they speak, mocking the food and everything. So whenever you saw like a group of Asians, bro, the subliminals ahead, the racial abuse ahead, it was crazy. It was freaking crazy. So, and I just think that for Asians, because again, I told you, my, one of my best friends that I've known since I was 14, he's Japanese. So I really know Asian culture and so forth is Asians are not as extroverted as let's say blacks are, you know? So, and just speaking to my Japanese, my, cause two, two of my best friends are, are, are Japanese, you know? So, um, and just speaking to them and being with them, Asians are a lot more reserved. They're not going to pretty much put themselves out there. They're not really going to put, but they're, they're extroverted. And because they're quiet and so forth, it's a very, very easy target. And the, and this racism towards Asians, it goes back decades, years upon years upon years. I remember my friend told me, so during peak COVID, this was during the, like the height of COVID, where we all thought that, you know, China and Wuhan were the guys who pretty much um, put the the um, COVID disease out. So everybody was pretty much blaming the Chinese. And then my friend was like, he basically had like some random guy was like, oh, no, 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 you're the reason why, you know, this COVID is out there, blah, blah, blah. Why did you do this? And then my friend was like, I'm not Chinese, I'm Japanese. And he goes, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So just by just seeing an Asian, people already stereotypes that, oh, no, no, he's, he must be Chinese. And then, oh, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I'm not Chinese, I'm Japanese. So it is like, the but the reason towards Asians is crazy, you know? And I just think that, because there's racism towards everyone. <laughs> Well, black. Okay, so shout out to my to my my blacks out there. We are at the bottom of, of the pyramid. <laughs> you know, we are right at the bottom of the pyramid. So some the blacks, you know, it is what it is. You know, we have the rawest deal. We have the rawest deal, but it is what it is. You know, you you get a, you get a great per perspective being black because you see the world for how it truly is, not for the bubble if you're near the, the top of the pyramid. But I just think that you know, um, just seeing, just seeing that guy do that eye gesture towards son it just sent me back to, to school i was like oh my god bro the amount of abuse asians got the amount it was just free and think about it and this was and this is what's so damning these are 14 year olds 13 year olds so if 12 and 13 year olds are this racist and saying these racial things constantly sometimes while the Asian guy is still there, they are saying these things and mocking them because they know that I can mock them and he ain't gonna fight back. He ain't gonna respond. Now, some guys will fight back. Some guys, because my friend, uh, he was, you know, he was about that life and everything, but even him as well. Because just within Asian culture, you're taught not to be confrontational. If you're taught not to really, to not always go into um, physical confrontation as the um, first means of response. So just the amount of just abuse I just saw towards agents and they, they just took it and just put their head on and everything and just the abuse. So it's it was just crazy. It just basically it just it just sent me me back. But just coming back to football and so forth, it's I mean we've we've been through this so far and everything. There are ways of stopping racism in football because the football fan needs his football club. Now for that fan, if he receives a lifetime ban, do you know what that now does for every fan? They're like, okay. I need this race <laughs> because this race makes me who I am. Maybe not do it in the stadium because come on, like I can go, surely can go. So, so much as 90 minutes, you get there early. Surely you can go two hours without being racist, bro. You have what's it called? Um, um, 22 other hours to be racist. So you, you've got 22 other hours to be racist. Come on. You can, you 22 hours into enough? Just two hours. Just two hours just to zip it. Just two hours not to be racist. Bro, as soon as you leave, have at it. Say all the racial expletives you want. Because bro, I'm cool with it. This is what I always say. Don't be racist to me. Don't be racist in my face. Because there are gonna be issues. If you're gonna be racist in your privacy of your home, the heck do I care? <laughs> like, I'm not here to change your racial views and be combined together. I don't get a damn what you do in the privacy of your home. Be racist. Just don't do it in public. 
Just don't do it in front of me or in front of my friends and in front of my other colleagues because then we're going to have an issue. Beyond that, how about it? And also, this is football. This is my sport. This is our sport. So don't bring that crap to my sport. Leave it in, leave it in, in your crappy home with your crappy family and so forth. Don't bring it in my spot. As long as we're cool with that, hey, it's all Gucci. It's all Gucci, man. So, guys, like, subscribe. And remember, click over there to head over to the official Football Hot website. One love.